Hey guys, it's George, and today I'm going to go over George's monthly budget spreadsheet version 7. So the first thing you want to do is set the particular year that you want to track your income and expenses for. And in this dashboard, there's some really cool reports to help you visualize your income, expenses, and net amount. And in the top right chart here, you can compare actual to budget. Currently, I'm doing that for the restaurants category, but you can change that right here to any of the customized categories that you set and also for total income, total expenses, and net amounts. So let's say we wanted to compare total expenses to the total expenses budget. Let's take a look at that, and the chart will update for those amounts. Let's go over here to the reports and charts, and here's where you have income versus expenses on a month-to-month -month basis, and you can compare actual to budget. There's also a yearly actual versus budget report. Let's go back to the account summary. So let's take a look at the registered transactions for the month of December. What's nice about this is you can also split transactions. So here I have an example of an expense of $100 at Walmart being split between two different categories, groceries and clothing and shoes. Up top here, there's summary totals of total income, expenses, and net amount. And below that, there's a running balance of the net amount. And one important thing to keep in mind is that this is a registered to track your income and expenses, but it's not an account register where you would track a particular account such as a checking account or a credit card account. I offer different software on my website for those of you who are looking for checkbook software. You can also use these filter arrows to filter the items and get a subset of the transactions. And as you enter a transaction, you assign them to an income or expense category that you can create. And let's take a look at the worksheet where you can do that. Here is where you create your own categories, income and expenses, and you can also set a monthly budget for each of those categories. So let's go back to the dashboard summary. So that's a quick overview of Georgia's monthly budget spreadsheet version 7.